like their offense. I like what they bring to the table. And just kind of what they can do running the football is very intriguing to me. The question is, will they take a step forward? Welcome into Crystal Ball College Football. I'm your host, Grayson Grunhafer, and we are continuing our preview for this season and our predictions going forward into the 2023 season. Today, we're talking about the SEC, the conference that has dominated the last decade, further than a decade, uh, continuing to win championships on championships. And now they're at an interesting point because we know Georgia has been the dominant team in college football. We've seen that. They've been so good, so consistent. But Alabama is kind of a team that's been very polarizing this offseason as there's many a lot of doubters in my eyes out there. A lot of people who think this is going to be more like a 9-3 and three or a 10-2 and two team uh, going into the 2023 season. So let's talk about it a little bit. We look at the West and you see a group of schools that are very, very good and kind of itching to knock off Alabama. Now, I know LSU was in the conference championship a year ago, but I still do think Alabama is the top dog when you talk about who does each and every team want to beat this year? Who do they need to catch? It's still Alabama, even though LSU is closing that gap a little bit. On the east side, we know what's happening on the east side. We we know. I mean, if you don't know and you, you're you trying to take a bold take here, um, that's great, but we know what's happening. It's Georgia's side there, and everyone wants to knock off Georgia. They want to find a way to keep Georgia out of the SEC championship game. We'll see if they can do that. So let's start like we do every week. Bowl chances, sleepers, title contenders. So the bowl teams, kind of right on the fringe there. Florida, Missouri, Auburn. Um, these three schools are kind of teetering right there between five and seven, six and six, seven and five. They're kind of right on the fringe. Um, I think there's positives to each and negatives. Um, for instance, Florida, offensively, I don't think they're going to be good. Defensively, they should hold up pretty well. Missouri, what are they going to get on the offensive side? Will it be enough to actually win some games in the SEC? And Auburn, who knows? You bring in Hugh Freeze, you would think the offense will be good, but I'm not so sure quite yet that I'm sold on them being, you know, kind of fully back to really competing each and every week. Sleepers on the West side, Arkansas, Texas A&M, Ole Miss. I like all three of these teams for a variety of reasons. I think Arkansas is a team that's just kind of waiting in the wings, as in I think everyone is just kind of looking past them. And I think they're really good. They just need to stay healthy. Last year, they couldn't stay healthy at all. This year, I think they will. And with KJ Jefferson, I think that they can win quite a few games, especially if the defense takes a step forward, which I think it will. AM finally found a quarterback. So we think. Uh, Connor Wigman, very good player. We'll see if Jimbo can recapture some of the magic that he had at Florida State or if he truly was a flash in the pan there and that he's just not going to be successful at AM. This is the year where we find out. This needs to be a team that competes every single week. If they're not, I think there are huge questions about what they're going to be going forward. And then Ole Miss, I just think there's momentum here with Lane Kiffin. I like their offense. I like what they bring to the table. And just kind of what they can do running the football is very intriguing to me. The question is, will they take a step forward on the defensive side? In the East, my sleepers are Kentucky and South Carolina. I think both these teams have kind of a solid foundation that they're building on. The question is, can they really take a step forward or are they just going to be kind of a 7-5 and five type team this year? Uh, that's kind of where I'm at with those two. Title contenders. I actually only have two title contenders from uh, each side. And it's Georgia and LSU in the West. And on the East, it's, or I'm sorry, on the East, it's Georgia and Tennessee. On the West, it's Alabama and LSU. That's kind of where I'm at with this. And honestly, you know, Tennessee's up there just because I'm hedging a bet on their offense being really good. But I think ultimately, Georgia's going to make the conference championship. I, I really don't think Tennessee will even be um, competitive with keeping up with them. We saw the game last year. They couldn't do much against that defense. I kind of expect it to be very similar this season. Uh, in the West, Alabama LSU is going to be fascinating. Every single week, I think they're going to get compared to each other. I think you're going to see two really, really awesome teams coming out of the West. But I think Alabama ultimately is going to be the team that comes out of the West. And it's, it's a tough thing to think about right now because they do have question marks at the quarterback position. 
but I see an elite level defense and an elite level running game that I think will be enough to pace them. And I think their quarterback play will be fine. I'm guessing it's probably going to be Jalen Milrow, which will give them another option running the football. Um, They're going to have to find a way to throw it. I understand that. But I think ultimately they're going to have those anchors of playing great, great defense while also running the ball very, very well. I think that bodes well for them. On the Georgia side, I think Carson Beck is about to be a monster. I think that Georgia is going to have a different level of offense as far as throwing the football. They're still going to be able to run it. They're still going to have a great offensive line, and they're still going to play great defense. But I do think Carson Beck elevates them potentially to another level. I know Stetson Bennett was great. I understand that. But there are things that Carson Beck can do that I'm not sure Stetson Bennett could do. Now, on the flip side, you could also tell me there are things that Carson Beck can't do that Stetson Bennett could do. I get it. I understand it. I'm just telling you what I see right now, and I I see a Georgia team that's actually very, very complete, just like they were a year ago. I'm taking Georgia to win the SEC over Alabama in the conference championship game. I really like what Georgia's building this year, and while you can say, hey, they maybe they take a step back defensively after all the guys they lost uh, to the draft. Maybe, but if you look at their schedule, they're going to have plenty of time to figure it out because they don't play a lot of very good teams this year. And for that reason, they're going to have a great chance to kind of get themselves ready and and just kind of build and figure out who they are. I really like that for Georgia this year because it probably will take a little time to figure it all out. So that's it for the SEC. Georgia is my conference champion this year. We'll be back later this week to talk about the other conferences remaining. But thanks for listening. This has been Crystal Ball College Football.